Okay, so here I am in the Kunsthalle, which is an uh, art museum in Hamburg. Uh, for my friend Ginger McCandless, that is uh, Kunsthalle. So, uh, just so you know, uh, very excited to be here. Going to see some beautiful things today, and thanks for coming with. Okay, just so you know, I'm standing beside a Van Gogh right now. It makes me really excited. Um, I love people who just smear paint on canvas and don't care. And uh, I don't know. I just, I, I've always loved this guy's work. So this is one of the things that I came to see. I'm very excited right now. Guy who cut off his own ear uh, for love. Now, while I respect the commitment, um, not not my thing, but but uh, just gotta love Van Gogh, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna photograph as many of these as I can. Okay, so this is another interesting painting. Uh, there's some huge ones in here. And I think what caught my eye about this is the two children in the center. Let me just scoot in on them. Don't they look well behaved? I think uh, it might be because of the alcohol they're holding. I'm not sure. At any rate, beautiful painting. Another one of my favorite artists, Edvard Munch. Uh, you may remember him, uh, The Scream is his, and I just love the way that he painted. Um, I spent so much time when I was painting trying to get every detail right, and then there are some folks that just throw it on there, and it looks good, and they move on, and, uh, and it looks perfect. Um, I just love it. It looks like he, you know, threw water at the canvas in a couple of places and, and just let everything blend and be. Um, so, really respect that. <laughs> um, sometimes I'm that kind of painter too, but not often. So, anyway, Edvard Munch, we'll be seeing more of him. Someone else will be following around Europe for fun. Pablo, well, not the guy in the painting, the guy who painted it, Pablo Picasso, uh, brother Pablo. Um, great, gifted, talented guy, so we'll be looking at more of that. And here we are with Picasso again, man and guitar. Um, just the multi-dimensionality of how he paints all of this, um, of how he envisions things. It's so different. It's so, you know, so faceted, uh, fascinating, something like that. Anyway, um, I just really enjoy this painting. You can kind of see the silhouette of the man if you're looking at the green and then certainly guitar parts and prisms and all those things working together it just makes me happy uh, Pablo, Pablo's paintings make me happy so now you know okay, so here we landed in medieval art land again and uh, I just wanna this was uh, something that was in the Hamburg church before the great fire they rescued it out of there um, but I just wanna I just wanna close up on some things for you okay so each one of these people had a story, you know? Each one of them had, there was some significance as to why they might be in this uh, high altar piece, basically, which is what it was. And uh, I just find it fascinating how, how much work, you know, went into building this, this huge piece and how much detail and how many stories they were trying to tell. Um, by having this, um, because as we've discussed before, folks couldn't read so much uh, back in those days, so they had to preserve these stories through, you know, these uh, statuettes and these triptychs and paintings and, and everything else, so just find that fascinating. We'll go out one more time for you, so you can see the whole shebang, because it is a shebang. And uh, yeah, just found that fascinating, wanted to note it. So now we're about to enter the modern art part of the museum. It's really interesting. Um, can't really tell what's happening on the sign, but I just thought I needed to film it. I had to take an elevator down a floor to get here. And uh, well, let's, let's see what's in here. This room is wanting, making me wanna play with things. Just wanted to show you some of these things. Kinder Zimmer, I believe, is room of kid art. Could be wrong about that, but I think that's what it means. 
reminds me of the Tinker Toys that I played with when I was a little kid, actually. Oh, bumped into something there. But, uh, interesting. I love these little round guys. I mean, seriously. You could, uh, you could put it in anywhere there. You could make any kind of a structure you wanted. So, interesting. Just wanted you all to appreciate this as much as I do. And there's the play area. Excuse me for a minute. Well, uh, once again, uh, RJ had a good day. Let's scoot this up a little bit. Oh, well, that's better, I think. Might be a little crooked. All right. It's a good day. Uh, saw some art, saw some things that I wanted to see, saw some interesting things that I'd never seen before. I, I, I think it was very successful. Um, so I think that I'm gonna probably go on home. But uh, in Hamburg today, I did not travel far. Behind me is, well, this, I don't know what this thing is, but beyond that, that green dome there is the art museum and uh, You'll notice right here is the train station. So I'm gonna go in because it's cold outside basically. And navigating a, a foreign city at night, eh, I mean, I can do it, but really. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go on in, darlings. Mm -hmm. 